Hey gang, Ross Brand here for LivestreamUniverse.com. Testing out the new uh, ability to go live from your laptop. Uh, no longer need to go use an encoder if I want to go live on a laptop or a desktop or use another app such as BeLive TV or BlueJeans. I can go straight through Facebook and go live natively. And uh, hopefully I'll see the comments here as well. It looks like you do see the comments. Um, go ahead if you're watching and throw something in so I can see uh, see who's here. Um, and so it opens up another window. Interesting. It opens up another window. And within that window, I should be able to see comments and also uh, respond to comments, like comments, testing the comments. Let's try this. Yeah, so that's cool. That that pops up. And uh, we're going to have a great show tonight for Ask the Expert. Amir Zanozzi from Zoom is joining me, also a co-host of the Five Favorites edition of the Why I Social podcast. Uh, this is a show where you bring your questions. We're going to use Be Live TV, which lets me take questions from the chat, throw them right up on the screen for everyone to see. And Amir will have a chance to answer those questions. Hey, Barb. Barb Tomlin is here. Great to see you. What do you think, Barb, of uh, going live on Facebook Live directly from Facebook Live when using a desktop or laptop computer? How's this coming across? What do you think of what you see so far? Uh, and so tonight with uh, Amir Zanozzi, one of the areas that he's extremely knowledgeable about is using uh, social data, real-time feedback, real-time live social data uh, for live events, for sporting events. Uh, he has a lot of clients who are um, from pro sports teams and pro sports leagues. And uh, looking forward to talking to him and, and just finding out uh, what he thinks are the important metrics to watch and how you can integrate tweets and, and Instagram pictures and things like that right into – how you deliver a live event, whether it's, you know, putting up a projector a screen above, uh, say, a speaker and, and actually having tweets running there, or Instagram pictures, whether it's uh, capturing tweets and using them within a, a sports arena, whether it's using that data to highlight certain people and how you can segment different people. And, of course, what analytics to watch in general uh, as people who are active on social media or active as live streamers podcasters what what type of data should you pay attention to which are the important analytics that can help drive results for your business for your personal brand for whatever you're trying to do with your online content hey alfredo good to see you the test is working okay um now i don't see a way within this interface to share this um like say to my personal profile, I would need to, uh, I guess, go into a browser and do that. What's interesting is I don't need to mute my tab when I um, when I go live like this, which is nice. Um, although maybe you don't need to anyway, uh, because that's usually when you're going live with an encoder or something, and then you go on Facebook Live and you click on it to open it up to see the comments. So it's nice seeing the comments. It's a very clean interface. Um, Alfredo says, open a second window to share to other pages. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, while I'm talking. Let's see if I can do two things at once. Multitasking isn't my specialty. And there I just open up messages instead of uh, finding the live stream post. So uh, just talk amongst yourselves. And in just a second, I will hopefully have shared this to my personal profile. So uh, here we go. Share to, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and post it. And so um, any uh, any questions about uh Facebook Live from a laptop or from a desktop. Have have you guys you, you guys tried it? Barb, have you tried it? Or Alfredo, have you, have you tried it? And if you're new, just throw something in the chat so I know you're you're here. It's uh doesn't show me who's watching, only shows if you if you post in the chat. Claudia Santiago is here. Yes, you can give a like. 
a like is very nice. Throw a like up there. That's another way I know people are here. Hola, Claudia. <laughs> she was carried away by my my Spanglish earlier. <laughs> Alfredo said, I got excited when we can go live from desktop without an encoder. CCCC, says Claudia. It offers me a translation, but I think uh, even the most uh, single language speakers among us can figure that out. <laughs> that one out. Um so now, is a laptop different from going live from a desktop, or is it the exact same experience? Oh, my, you had me rolling over and laughing. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I try. Um, I assume it's the same experience as going live from, from desktop. Hola, Jeff. Hefe. <laughs> Jeff, hola. How are you, Jeff? Good to see Jeff Adams here. A great Jeff had a great interview with uh, Kim Garst on Monday on his Be Live TV weekly show. Jeff Jeff does a great great show uh, for Be Live TV, and Barb says yes works great can combine with Manny Cam for more op options. Yeah, um, I saw where it, it said when I was about to go live it asked if I had another uh, like I was going to feed from another device or something like that. Um, so I don't know whether with, I, I haven't used Manny cam. How, do, how does that work? If you integrate it with Manny cam, Claudia has been going in vivo and vivo live. That means live. Uh, I know that cause they put that up on Univision in the corner when they have a live event, uh, from desktop, both laptop and standalone computer but can only do it through pages. That's right. I had to go live on my uh, Livestream Universe page. I wanted to go live on my personal. Um, even though I do my shows here, I think like going live on the personal lets you reach other people who might not follow the page, and then you can bring them over to the page for the show. Manicam acts like a virtual camera. Okay. I set up Wirecast virtual cam, but I don't really use it. Um, Although a lot of the devices like Be Live TV always go for that one first before they go for my webcam. <laughs> so that's nice. I can like all the comments here. So if you just joined us, um, we're going to be doing Ask the Expert or Livestream Experts. I'm trying to decide which way to go with the, the title. Um, to go with the Livestream Experts so it fits in with all the other live stream shows that I'm doing or to call it Ask the Expert, because the show really is about questions that, you know, people who are watching can ask. Um, tonight we have Amir Zanozzi from ZoomFon. He's also co-host of the Why I Social Podcast 5 Favorites Edition. And, Claudia, so glad you asked. What time are you guys on? 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. And for you, it's uh, 5 p.m. Mountain, I believe. So, <laughs> Kiora, por favor. Uh, I, I only know how to say the, the time now. I don't know how to say the time in the future. <laughs> so <laughs> we're on at seven o'clock, <laughs> seven o'clock, uh, Eastern five o'clock mountain, six o'clock central, four o'clock, uh, in the West coast time slot. So uh, and, and Amir Zanozzi is the co-founder of Zoom, and we're going to talk about social data, analytics, what you can take from the different social information that's available to you, and how you can use that to improve uh, your outcomes, your conversions, or just enhance live events and sporting events and speeches and things like that by collecting real-time data and real-time um impressions and getting tweets and things like that and how you can go about uh, well we'll ask him here he can explain it far better than i can <laughs> my thing is the broadcast we'll get the data we'll get the data side from him but uh would love to have your questions hope you can join us at uh 7 p.m eastern on the live stream universe facebook page just go to rossbrand.live to watch. Well, anyway, thanks for joining. I just wanted to hop on for a minute and let you know what was coming up and also test this out. I really like going live directly from the Facebook page. Very cool. 
doesn't have the ability that BeLive TV has, though, to highlight comments, which is nice and something that I really enjoy doing. I would love to have been able to just take your comments and pop them right on the screen so everybody can see what comment I'm talking about rather than um, rather than reading it and kind of trying to follow along at the same time. So Alfredo asks, what benefits do you think Facebook Live without an encoder? It's just the simplicity, Alfredo. I don't have to open Wirecast. I don't have to set it up. I don't have to do certain things. I mean, it's pretty easy one person going live through Wirecast. Um, but it's just nice to be able to just jump on. I don't have to think about setting anything up. I don't have to think about a stream key and all that stuff. Um, it's it's just a quicker process to get on if I'm not doing anything where I really need like lower thirds or changing shots or things like that. Um, so there are advantages and disadvantages to both. But if I was doing something where I, I needed a more professional setup or whatever, then then obviously I would use Wirecast. Um, and if I was doing something where I was more interested in the engagement and being able to highlight comments and put a you know an identifiers on the screen and stuff, then then Be Live TV would be a great way to go as well. Um, Claudia asks, "Can you bring on guests? I haven't attempted guests yet, not that I know of." Um, I don't see anything here that that says about bringing on guests. Yeah, Barb is exactly right. It's easier on computer resources, too, than, than running Wirecast. Uh, certainly going live like this, if you have a, a pretty recent computer, isn't going to make your uh, fan go on, um, which uh, Wirecast is a little more intensive. And, yeah, Claudius is just a single broadcast. That's right. So I don't see any way to bring to bring people on um, yet. Alfredo says, no, Facebook Live from desktop is one to many broadcast. I mean, and that's the next step, right? I mean, at some point, they're going to facilitate being able to bring guests on. And when they do, that's, that's going to be a pretty awesome. I, I mean, but their platforms like Be Live TV and Blue Jeans and stuff that do a good job. But once Facebook offers it, free of charge and they really are able to refine it that's going to be tough for other other um third-party apps to compete compete with hey do the filters work i don't see any filters here you guys know if they're filters i don't see filters anywhere it's really a very claudia it's like a very very simple setup i have i have i see the screen you know where i'm on camera it lets me know how long I've been live for. I've been live for almost 13 minutes. There are three people watching right now. There have been 26 comments, uh, some likes, three likes, whatever. We, we need more likes, people. Let's get those likes up there. Let's get those likes going. I always wanted to do that. <laughs> I did that the other day when I went on Periscope. I always watch Periscopes but don't usually go on. It's like, let's tap it up for some hearts, share it out, let everybody know. <laughs> <laughs> so the phone the filters might have yeah maybe the filters are only available on the phone i don't see that claudius is like the app has cool filters but haven't tried it on laptop yeah i didn't i didn't use the um filters when i went live from my phone uh, um and again like the advantage of going live from the desktop or laptop versus a phone is I don't have to put the laptop on a tripod. I don't have to. It's it's just so simple with just the click of a mouse and a, typing a couple of words and, and you're live. So that's kind of the cool thing about this. Um, again, please do join us tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern. Ask the expert, live stream experts. We have Amir Zanozzi, co-founder of Zoom, an expert in social data, social analytics, real-time feedback uh, from social media um and he's also the co-host of the five favorites edition of the why social podcast you also see him live streaming uh for zoom from his own page um and so i'm really looking forward to talking to amir later and no i have never claudia tried the green hulk <laughs> filter that's that's one i have not tried in fact i have not tried any of them because i haven't done any filters <laughs> I know Facebook's trying to become more like Snapchat, right? I mean, they figure if they can't get them, they can't buy them 
out or run them out of business, then they'll just start in, I- integrating every feature they can into Messenger and into into the videos and, and everything else that, that Snapchat has so that you'll have absolutely no reason to ever go over to, over to Snapchat. <laughs> so... All right, I will be back at 7 o'clock Eastern right here on the Livestream Universe Facebook page, Rossbrand.live. And thanks for joining me here for this little test and a little preview of what's coming up tonight. See you all in 45 minutes. Take care.